Hello everybody, you're watching Ad Free Tenacious Viking TV. Welcome back to Production Line. I'm Tenacious Viking, your factory manager host. Well, we're back in business manufacturing cars right and left. I got it running super fast. I'm going to slow it down a little bit so we can kind of see what's happening and I have time to, to react. I got, a, I got a couple loans out which concern me some. I'd like to like to not have to do that anymore. But I bet you when I start renting additional space and stuff, I'm going to have to do some of that. I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure how that works yet because I haven't done it yet. And I'm also not sure of the wisdom of making some of my own parts or breaking down the manufacturing process myself, assembling things myself before they go into my cars. I, I assume that's a good idea, but I don't know for sure. Um, I... Um, I have uh, only four cars in the showroom at the moment. They're moving out pretty fast, and that's despite the fact that I raised my prices considerably. I don't remember what the oh the sedan needs to go up now, doesn't it? Because uh, I don't want to do a mid-range on the sedan though, but I'm going to go on the upper upper end of the. Uh, uh, and this one also needs to come up a bit. This one is well, it was good. Um, oh. I thought I raised that into the uh, mid-range area. That's supposed to be a mid-range. Uh, the SUV is supposed to be a mid-range now. Compact is going to be cheap. Off-road is mid-range. Sports is mid-range. And the pickup is just upper budget. So we should be making a little money on everything. I, I may raise prices some more, but I want to check uh, check that because that varies so much, the, the profit. Um, we've got sedan XLs and SPs sitting here in the SUV. Car alarm electric windows. Why is that not? Okay, we got, yeah, we got, some, oh man, that's never going to sell. <laughs> I got to, uh, I got to do this, uh, deep discounts on defects um, we're gonna we're gonna go 25 percent universal features we're gonna go 15 uh, there uh, so that ought to move them out eventually we'll give deep discounts for all that now all of a sudden we're not running any cars through what's the deal um, Here's what we started last time. You see, these are not going through fast at all. Why not? Okay, they're getting held up here. That fit engine. Which is the one I thought I wasn't going to need to speed up. Shoot. Wow. Um, just wow. Hopefully this system will help speed these cars through. But see, they're sailing through here and really held up at fit engine. So there's that. I may need to turn this around again. Yeah, it doesn't do any good to have this faster when this is slow. Not a bit. Export specialization. When I catch up on research, I'm going to take a breather and really take a look at what I what I want. <laughs> Uh, there. Do I? Oh, yeah, I still got... Um... See, I put this so close that I'm getting resources for this through this system, and that's not what I want. 
but they're they're connected they're all in a row so they almost I mean they're gonna do that whether I like it or not I guess so we may start feeding that from two ends then um, and uh, hope that that speeds up the whole system hmm As soon as I connect these, then everything's going to feed from everywhere, and, and, and it, it may speed it up or it may slow it down. I don't know. Now, do we we have faster conveyors, but I don't know if that's going to be automatic or if I have to uh, if I have to do that. I just I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Conveyors. I got smart junction, which I don't understand, and which doesn't work very well for me. Um, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to, uh, I wonder if I can just do that much and get it to work, do you suppose? I don't know if it will or not. I don't think it will. See, I don't think this is reading it. I think I have to start here and do this. We'll see if uh, see if the next one goes through there, because this is a big bottleneck, and and um, well, I can run these over to the other. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can if I can turn those around. I don't think I can do that. I gotta nope. I gotta I gotta demolish. And I have to demolish all of this. That also took out my conveyor. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Okay, now. Now I gotta get the conveyor back. Right there. Okay. Sheesh. Okay, so even though this isn't working, I will be increasing production over here now. With this backed up stuff. Oh, this is backed up too. Why? That's odd. So all, really all I'm doing is just creating more places to back up. Uh, I don't quite understand the point of that then. Um, yeah. And I don't think I created a, a path here. Okay, so I have to do that. But I also have to do that. We'll see if cars will go over that way now. So I can get that. Uh... Nope. They don't want it. So whatever. Computerized sales. New upgrade. Paperwork. Cool. All right. What am I researching? High output power plant, and then TV marketing, and then touch screen interface. Okay. See, this doesn't help because the next car doesn't get ready to go in until th these are all done anyway. So well, I'm gonna waste any more money on that. Nope, not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. So I'll move fit accessories down here and move uh, fit, what is it, fit body? Fit engine uh, up to here uh, and then see if I can get this to go. But I'm not impressed with this either. Not at all.
yeah, I'm down to the eight vehicles an hour. That's what I thought. Uh, so all of my money, all the money I spent, and all the moving around I did, has net, uh, resulted in a net loss of one vehicle per hour production. Now, how come these are so slow? I don't know. Because these are slow. This is fast, and that's why it's ahead. So that is moving faster. Okay. That is good to know. I feel like I need to add another resource importer right here. I think I'm going to do that and see what happens. Uh, I may have to take it out someday, but oh well. The I believe I do have the faster belts now. I think they are moving faster, but... I'm not sure. <sighs> Nearest object regardless of origin. Let's, uh, let's try stockpiling some paint stock there. And I'm going to have to put a stockpile here. Um, supply stockpile. I don't know what that looks like. Well, it's cute, isn't it? I wonder if I can put it like in here. I think, ooh, might be able to do that. And st and no, nah, I don't want to. Nah, I don't want to confuse that. Nope, nope, nope. I'll put it here for now and see what happens. No, I don't want to do that either. I don't know what copy from slot means. Uh, oh, I don't know where that goes. <laughs> it goes to fit engine. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what all is included in fit engine. See, that doesn't work the same, which is confusing. Powertrain, radiator, exhaust, wheel I think wheel assembly is so kind of the one they've they've had the the biggest problem uh fit i don't see that Wheel assembly. Okay. I'll kind of keep an eye and see what's missing here from a lot of these. Very much missing from that one, so kind of hard to tell. Um, yeah, I'm going to connect this together. Might regret it, but... To do this right, you'd have to kind of monitor what uh, what seems to be short all the time, and um, okay, we're getting more throughput here. Uh, we have 
10 cars to sell. They're not selling very well. Uh, I think I need to do a marketing campaign. Um, let's let's do that. And uh, take a look at these prices. Yeah, they're kind of high now. The sedan, uh, that one's all right. That one's all right. The SUV is all right. Compact is good. Off-road is a little high. I'm going to leave that, see if it's selling or not. Sport is a little high, but I don't want to go out of mid-range with it. And the pickup is budget. That's plenty, uh, plenty. I can, I can lower that. Now, which ones are not selling? That's what I need to know. Uh, sedans, all the sedans, the Sedan XL is not selling as a mid-range. So I should probably add some more features to it, is what that tells me. Uh, automatic headlights should be included then. Car alarm is included already. Central locking driver airbag. I don't have airbags. Oh my god. I gotta have airbags. Folding lane departure warning. I'm not gonna do a sunroof on there. Power seats though. Uh, reversing camera. Yep. Okay. Uh, wait, what was the one I... Uh, oh, driver airbags. I gotta have on everything. It's very rare. Uh, okay. Alright. Whatever. And rare. Central locking is rare, but that's coming. If it's very rare, I'm not going to hurry. Sunroof, I'm not going to do. I don't care. That, that can go in the sport. Okay, so... Central locking... Some of these others now that are in a, in a higher uh, bracket are going to need to are gonna have, have more things in common. Uh, like this, universal, yep, universal. Well, I got about everything included, very rare. I don't need that. All right, SUV. This is a little tedious. Um, auto steer headlights. I had to have Rick explain that to me. It was what I thought it was, but it just seemed odd. I've never heard of auto steer headlights before. Automatic windshield wipers and auto steer headlights on the SUV I think is important. Central locking, everybody has to have. I wonder if I have central locking available at wherever that's added in. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, there's not going to be a sunroof either. I'm not going to put anything rare or very rare on. Well, central locking I'll put in. But the rest, meh. <laughs> no sunroof either. Off road. Um, that's a mid range, so I want to make that pretty good. Uh, I don't think I need leather interior on mid range or on the off road. <laughs> I don't think. I'm not going to do a sunroof either. Sports, I'll do a sunroof. Uh, that's mid range now, so yeah, we're going to make that uh, add some of those features. Effective immediately. Leather interior, absolutely. And a sunroof. The pickup is gonna kind of stay bare bones. I'm not gonna, not gonna add a central locking. I will though. Uh, the rest I'm not gonna add to that. All right, let's see what that does to sales and to profits. I've spent a million on that loan already. That's not good. So we start with pricing again. Um, We'll bring that down about a thousand. Oops. Gosh, that slider is easy to move. 
We're going to bring that down to 25. Five. The SUV, I can... No, I'm going to leave that. I don't know if they're selling or not. I th think I think it's the sedan XL that's not selling. Uh, the off-road sports. I'm gonna leave pickup. Um, pretty sure it's the. Yeah, the sedan XL is missing a lot of stuff for some reason. Now, hopefully, that's all added now. Car alarm, heater, electric windows. Why don't they have those? Uh, it, it yeah, it's included. Electric windows, heater. I don't know why they didn't get those. That's odd. Very very odd. Okay, we're getting caught up except for over here. I really want uh, more cars to go over this way. Well, this is going to catch up too, so we'll. S okay, yeah, we're. We're going to get caught up here, I think. Um, and then I can start messing up this line <laughs> by moving stuff around and spending money. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. Okay, the defects, for the most part, are getting fixed. Um, all right, we're, we're selling the cars out. Got rid of those bad ones, which is good. That uh, makes me feel better. Now I can start selling the the good ones. Um, okay, cool. Well, I am out of time. Believe it or not, look at this lineup of cars. Yeehaw! Uh. Not sure I learned anything, <laughs> except that that's a little frustrating missing upgrade. Automatic wipers. Oh, wrong. Clicked in the wrong place, that's why. I don't have any of these upgrades here. Why? I thought I... Uh. That is so irritating. Oh my gosh, that's irritating. Oh yeah, see I knew I was going to run into trouble here. <laughs> okay, I knew that. Alright, my time is up. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate you all very much. And join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Production Line. I appreciate your support for this series. I'm having, having fun trying to figure this out. I hope it's not frustrating you too much. Sometimes it frustrates me a little bit. But oh well. Um, I guess that's what learning new games is all about. Huh? Getting through the frustration and figuring it all, all out. Join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Production Line. And remember, be kind. Oh.